Hi guys, Rossi and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this colourful light room in Cinema 4D. So let's jump straight into the video and I'll show you how it's done. But first of all, let me make you aware that if you don't want to go through the process of making this light room, I've actually made it available to purchase on Creative Market. It's really cheap, I've made it $2 I believe, and there's actually two light rooms in there as well as this one. So you have this one and then you have just a plain uh, minimalistic one. There'll probably be a video on the screen of it at the moment. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to go through this, you can always go ahead and grab that and I'd really appreciate it. So we're just going to go to File, New. So we got our new document now. And I'm just going to change my render settings. So I've already got a preset, but I'm going to run you through it anyway. So I'm just going to go down to Render Settings and select that. So this is essentially just a 2560 by 1440 but I'm actually going to change that to 1920 by 1080 uh, leave the rest all the same I've got the format set to PNG alpha channel on but I'm going to untick that because we won't be able to use it with the Lightroom that we're going to be working on anti-aliasing make sure you change that to best uh, minimum level 1 by 1 and maximum level 4 by 4 basically just copy all these settings down, I'm pretty sure I haven't played with too much of it and make sure you've got global illumination and ambient occlusion, these can both be found from the effects panel down here and yeah you're basically set up now so if you haven't used Cinema 4D before it's not too difficult these four buttons up here in the top right um, we will be using them quite a bit uh, it's just to move around your composition basically so if we use this like it looks like a circle, we're just going to rotate and line it up so that the tiles are kind of facing us, if that makes sense. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is come up and press this top right button and that gives us four different views. So we have perspective, which is the one we are currently working in, and then we have a top view, a front view and a right view. So if we just focus on this right view, and I'm going to zoom out a bit using this arrow, and we're going to come up to this yellow path looking tool left click and hold and we're going to grab a linear path so this is going to be the backdrop for the Lightroom so what we're going to want to do is just make one point along the y-axis come down to where the green and the blue lines meet make another one and then go across the z-axis and that's that then if we right click and press create points and if we get the bottom left corner point and we go two squares to the right make a point there go back to that corner point go two squares up make another point now we've sorted that and if we actually come over to our layers palette on the right hand side press spline and change the type from linear to B spline and what's that going to do is it's going to make a curve in between the two points that we just added so that's fine as it is now. So if we press the um, button in the top right of the perspective view to come back into that view, and at the moment you can't really see anything. You can see like a path there, but nothing's really happening. So if we just come up to like this green square, left click and hold, and if we hold Alt and select extrude nerves, it's going to drop that spline into the extrude nerves. Again, nothing's really happening. But if we change if we have the extrude nerb selected and we change the movement up to let's say 500 you can see it's starting to um, it's actually start to do something now but it's facing the other way so if we just hold the extrude nerbs come up to the toolbar at the top left that circle that's kind of towards the left hold shift so that it rotates in increments of 5 degrees and just rotate it 180 and there we go so now we have like a ramp looking kind of thing and we're just going to increase the movement on our extrude nerves so that it fills up the whole page so we're going to grab the move tool it looks like a kind of plus sign and there we go so we have our ramp and we're just going to create a material for that really quick so if we come to the bottom of cinema 4d and double click in this kind of open area and it's going to make a new material or you can just press create and new material so if we double click on this material and come to color and we're just going to make this a bright white don't have to change anything else 
We're just going to left click and drag and drop that on our extrude nibs. So that has applied that material to our ramp. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is create the lights for the composition. So, if we come up to the blue cube, left click and hold, and we're going to grab a plane. Again, we're going to press that top right button uh, next to the layers palette to bring up the four views. And we can use this to align the plane that where we want it to be. So, I want it to be directly above the plane and out of view of the camera. So I'm just going to drag it up to the top of it and we're going to have it roughly centered so that green line on the y-axis is the center of the composition so our, our ramp's actually quite off center so I'm just going to fix that so it looks roughly about right so there we go so again come back to the plane and in the properties section of the object we have the width, the height, width segments and height segments so I'm actually just going to bump the width segments up a little bit not much and I'm going to bump the height up so it fits the height of the ramp as well. And we're going to duplicate this plane five times. So whilst having the plane selected, if you press Command C, Command V, or Control C, Control V on a PC, it's going to duplicate it in the exact same location. So with the move tool selected, we can get our new duplicated plane and move it over. Duplicate it again, Control C, Control V, move it to the left again, and then come out to our original one, duplicate it, and move it to the right. And to basically do this, so you have five planes next to each other. And what I've actually noticed now is we want them within the ramp, so all five of them we want to be within the ramp space. So we're just going to select all of them. So if you go to your bottom one, and then hold shift and press the top when it will select all of them and we're just going to bump the width down so probably around 250 and then we're just going to move them all in closer so select them get the move tool and just drag them back in because basically when we apply the material to these planes these are going to give off those vibrant colors so we want to see the whole spectrum within the composition whereas if they're all spread out you're only better to see like two colors so those have been moved more into the center and now what we're going to want to do is create the materials for those so again if we press the top right button in our perspective view so that's the top left one and we can come back to that view and we're just going to create the five materials for those planes so i'm just going to create one and what we can do is duplicate this and change the colors so first of all what we are going to want to do is untick color untick specular and tick luminance so luminance actually um, gives off the lighting whereas color it wouldn't actually give off any lighting so luminance we're going to be using that and you're just going to want to change the color to the color that you want the lightroom to to give off so if we chose red for example and we, we apply that to one of our planes if i just go into all four perspectives i can see which layer is my middle plane so that's plane one grab our material drag it on that and let's just make an object quick so we can see how this lighting is working already. So I'm just going to grab a sphere, move it up, and move it towards me a bit. There we go. Just bring it down as long as it's not going through the bottom of the ramp. And let's just render this out quickly and see how it looks. So it's going to be quite dark at the moment because obviously we've only got one light working, which is the middle plane with the red light on. But if we just render it out and see how it looks so far. So as you can see, it's just a red light room at the moment. It's quite dark, the sphere isn't lit very well. So what we're going to continue to do now is add different materials to each of the planes with different colours. So that red one we actually want on the end. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have the light room going from blue on the left to red on the right. So if I select my far right plane and just I'm gonna drag the material onto that one and then if you hold command on your material in the bottom and then drag it's going to duplicate that material so i'm going to click on this and then i'm going to find the blue that i want it to start with get that and find the left plane so that's this one and just drop the material on there and now we're just going to do a gradient of colors in between those two so again holding command and dragging the material 
that duplicates it and this is gonna we're gonna make this a bit of a lighter blue so that's like a turquoise find the plane next to the, that one so drag the material there and then the middle one so that's probably going to be a yellow color so skip green out there we go drag that onto the middle plane again command move Make that orange and there we go so now we have a lot more lighting so if we render it out now it should be a whole lot brighter so let's just try that immediately whilst rendering you can already see that it's going to be a brighter scene and you can actually see those colors shining through so there we go we have a nicely lit lightroom from blue to red just like we wanted it and we have nice shadows underneath the sphere as well so what we're actually going to do now is if you wanted this scene to be lighter is we're just going to put a light in the middle of the um, in the middle plane and that's going to cast a bit more shadow and it's just going to brighten up the whole composition as a whole so if we just come over to the, this light bulb logo left click and hold and we're actually going to grab an area light now everything's gone pitch black that is not what we want so if we come into our fourth perspectives again and you can see it's, it's because it's put it below the ramp so if we just bring it up bring it up so it's in line with the middle plane and we're actually going to rotate it because we want it flat just like the other planes are so if we grab the rotate tool hold shift and rotate it 90 degrees grab the move tool and we can see from our top perspective it's not even above the ramp either so we're just going to bring it into the middle I'm just going to bring it directly above our sphere object so when it casts the shadows they're casted directly below and not off to one side and we are just going to expand this a little bit so if we press this tool in between the move tool and the rotate tool this, this is the scale tool and we can just scale this up just a little bit there we go but what we're actually going to want to do is come into our light settings so if we click on light on our layers palette and we're going to change the color so the middle color of this composition I believe is a yellow orangey color so I'm just going to come up get something in between so probably about that now your Lightroom's changed yellow but don't worry it's not going to change it in the render too much and if we come down to our details of the light down in its properties and change the fall off to inverse square so that's going to give it a wider radius of lighting and it's just going to light your composition up better so if we try to render this out now just see what it looks like you can already see it's a lot brighter we might actually have to decrease the um, intensity of this light but we'll see what it looks like so yes yes we definitely do not want it like that so we're going to come into our light settings and we're going to drop that to 35 percent let's let's see how that looks there we go we can start to see the other colors come back in the yellow was just well, it was way too overwhelming the whole Lightroom would change colour so that is not what we want at all let's just see what it looks like there we go perfect so there is kind of a yellow tint to the Lightroom um, to fix this all we got to do is add a few more lights so if we click off it come to our four perspectives and duplicate this light so hold it command C command V and let's move it to the far left plane duplicate it again command C command V member control C control V if you're on a PC we're gonna select light one and we're gonna change the color property to a blue and then if we come to the far right light I'm gonna change that to a red now if we render it out we should still have that color and it should be brighter overall Okay, so this is looking really good right now, but we're just going to add one more thing to finish off the Lightroom, and that is a new material for our sphere. So if we come down, double click on the materials area, make a new material, click on it, and we're just going to add a reflection. And if you press this little arrow next to texture, and we're going to come down and press it for now, and change the brightness to about 5, and the mix strength to about 45. 
come back to color and we're going to make this a really dark gray around about that and we're actually going to take the specular off as well so that's that material done and if we drag that over to our sphere this is now going to give it a lot of reflection and it will actually light the sphere up a lot as well and you'll be able to see the lights in the reflection of the sphere some of you may like that some of you may not but of course you can add any material that you want I just think it looks good in the composition So there we have it, that is how you make a Lightroom in Cinema 4D. If you found this video helpful, smash that thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section down below. And of course if you have any ideas for future videos, drop them down there as well. And yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.